What's going on, everybody? This is Zach B, and welcome back to another brand new PS4 Controls episode here on Blowout Gaming. As you guessed it, we are hanging out with the Griffins today, and today's episode is going to be all about the PS4 Controls for the Griffin. Now, the Griffin has been out for a while, but I wanted to make sure that everybody knew exactly what to expect when dealing with these guys and exactly how to control them here on the PS4. So make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already done so for me. And make sure to hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate all the support. And I don't want you to miss out on any of these great PS4 controls videos that I have coming your way. Now the Griffin does not require a saddle to ride. Which makes this incredibly convenient. Because as soon as you tame it at any level, you can ride it. So go ahead and press triangle to mount and dismount. Just like we do with every other creature. And of course we're going to use our left and right sticks to steer the creature and steer the camera as well. Now when we're moving around, you can also click the L3 button to sprint with the Griffin. It doesn't go terribly fast on the ground uh, from a standstill, but you can actually increase this speed uh, with its wings. And of course, the coolest thing about the Griffin is the fact that it can fly. In fact, it's considered to be one of the fastest, if not the fastest flyer in the game. So you'll go ahead and take off, like I said, with X. And you can see that we can go faster or slower in the air, just like we do on the ground with L3 as well. So you go ahead and click L3 to go faster. And then when you're in the air and you have clicked L3 and you're going as fast as you can, you can actually dive. And what this does, as you can see, is it increases your speed exponentially as you move. You can see it's a dive and a kind of glide, which allows you to really cover distance here on the map. And so, again, that's why the, the Griffin is considered one of the fastest flyers. Now, what's really neat about this is you can take that speed that you've collected in the dive and then use that for attacks and also for running on the ground. So you can see we're going to go ahead and land, and then I am sprinting around at a much higher speed uh, than I was originally, which is pretty cool. And so, you know, I love the versatility between landing and running and flying. You can see that it's all kind of a continuous motion that helps to make the Griffin a very, very fast mount. Now, the Griffin is unique in the sense that it does use this flying ability for its attacks. For example... Argies do not dive bomb on their opponents, but the Griffins can. So the Griffin has three main attacks. It has its R2 attack, which is going to be its swipe attack with its claws. Just like this. That's our basic attack and our harvest as well. Now when we're in the air, we have a couple more attacks. Now we have our dive and swipe attack, which basically combines our dive and our R2 attack. So we'll go ahead and raise up in the air and then aim down and dive. And then we'll go ahead and click the R2 button again, as you can see, and we killed that thorny dragon. And then its other flying attack is the dive bomb. And so you can raise straight up in the air and just dive straight down onto a creature and do damage that way as well. Now, that attack is not as powerful as the dive and swipe, but they are both equally uh, powerful griffin attacks. So three main attacks for the griffin. However, the griffin also has an L2 pickup uh, move that allows you to pick up your small creatures and move them around. So you can see I'm going to hit L2, and then I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Lystrosaur in my right claw there. I think it's actually pretty funny. He doesn't actually use both claws. Like I said, this is for small creatures. You really can't pick up uh, anything bigger than a Dillo or a Lystro, and you can't pick up wild creatures. I already tried to do that as well. Um, so not really that much use in that move, but the Griffin is still a fantastic team all the way around. The Griffin is always a fun tame to have, and I wanted to make sure you guys had the short, simple list of Griffin controls here on the PS4. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. This is going to be it for today's episode. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already done so, and of course, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any of these great videos coming your way very soon. I'll see you guys in the next one.